Good morning, Cardano Army. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead and do all the things that the algorithm likes for me. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. Please leave a couple comments down below for the Al Gore's rhythm. Thank you. All right. So we got Steak with Pride here. Shout out to them. Listen to Ben Gorsel and Charles Hoskinson talk about how Cardano can host a centralized AI marketplace with ownership properties that rival centralized solutions and how Midnight can use pr proof of work to accelerate finality. Now, if you don't know who Ben Gorsel is, first of all, where have you been? Okay. He is the creator of AGIX token. Singularity Net. We talk about Singularity Net frequently on this channel. And uh, yeah, him and Charles are pretty much best best buds um uh ben gorsel and his uh project uh migrated on over from ethereum to cardano i want to say in 2020 and they were the first to come out with the ethereum virtual machine on agix so that's pretty cool guys so uh with that out of the way let's take a look at what charles and ben gorsel are talking about Within three to five years, the revolution of both the sidechain model, the roll-up model, and uh, the Hydra model that we have, the combination of those three things will be in a position where you could run a large-scale system that emulates a lot of the things that we're seeing in the AI space right now. We still don't have a data layer uh, in the roadmap that would be able to handle that, so you need to build that as a sidechain to, to mm. facilitate it. And also, there probably needs to be a working memory space so a semi-persistent storage layer inside the system, but there's a variety of reasons why people would want to do that. Shared mempool, a mithril intermediate certificate construction, uh, pub sub protocols, these types of things. So there's still some discussions about that in the longer term roadmap. But yeah, I'd say three to five years to get to the point where the throughput is where it needs to be, the off-chain infrastructure is where it needs to be, and the proof systems are where they need to be, where you could build an end-to-end -end marketplace that has an equivalent experience to a centralized offering like you see with, uh, with GPT, but could be completely decentralized. And the advantage is that it has emergent ownership of all of these things. For example, with Midnight, we're exploring using useful proof of work for a roll-up acceleration. So whether you're using pasta curves or Eris and Pluto or whatever <coughs> curve structure you're using, it's very heavy designing a recursive snark and having it roll up. And, it, and in, if every time you have a user transaction, you have to compute this big thing, then you're saying, well, on a cell phone, it's five minutes to send a transaction. It makes no sense. So you have a few options. You can either have trusted third parties finish your proofs or do these things for you, or you can create a computation layer in your system where you can submit it. ASICs can do those op operations and they can do them a thousand times or 5,000 times faster than you would do it and you get instantaneous stuff pretty good stuff guys i highly recommend you guys watch the full uh version i'm gonna retweet it it's about three hours long uh one thing i do like about ben is that my mans can talk my mans can and talk and i think you're on mute um he can uh he can really talk so uh he's got a lot of good information um very very smart dude he always wears his hat <laughs> i like i like the hat uh but yeah yeah that's uh that singularity net uh governance summit 2023 that came out like two days ago so wow uh guys I, i'd highly recommend it's you stop guys screen share. go ahead and watch the whole thing um definitely good to see <clears throat> Let's give a shout out to OneCom, took a simple one C O M M. Guys, you know the drill. Let's keep Cardano decentralized. And how we do that? We support small stake pool operators. All right. Um, big news. All the OneCom uh, OGs out there, everybody that's delegated to OneCom. Looks like we're going to be minting two blocks this epoch. So that's definitely good to see. You guys are going to be getting all that sweet, sweet ADA that you so rightly deserve. All right, guys, so thank you to OneCom, 0% fees until at least the end of December 2023 for all existing and new delegators. Let's keep chopping it. Delegate to OneCom this instant. All right, guys, pause the video, do what you got to do. Make sure that, you know, first of all, make sure that whatever pool you're delegated to is actually active. Okay, there's still millions of ADA being staked to unactive pools right now and it's free it's literally free money 
So go ahead, delegate to one com now. Let's go ahead and move on. <clears throat> All right, guys. So this is pretty big news. Uh, another BTC testnet is now live. Uh, I played around with the testnet a little bit a couple of days ago. It didn't really work for me. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully they fixed it. Um, hopefully they fixed it. It does look pretty clean. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, but the test net is now live, guys. If you don't know what a Neta BTC is, it's pretty much wrapped Bitcoin on Cardano and Ergo. Why is that important? It helps expand DeFi. Okay, let's just say you have Bitcoin, but you don't have any uh, ADA. Well, you can come on over to the Cardano community and wrap your Bitcoin and do transactions using your Bitcoin on the ADA blockchain without having to sell your Bitcoin. That's just one of the bit. That's one of the, uh, one of the things that you could do. Or if you have a lot of Cardano and you want to transact on the Bitcoin blockchain, there's a lot of cool things you could do with wrapping and unwrapping. Hopefully ETH is coming soon and other tokens. So here's how it looks. <clears throat> um looks like they fixed a few things here. No, they still haven't actually, but it's oh, they did, they did, they did, they did fix it. So yeah, you got a lot of Bitcoin. Let's say you got one Bitcoin, right? And you want to use it. You don't want to sell it, but you want to Come on over and do some things on the Cardano blockchain, like buy an NFT or participate in DeFi. You can wrap that Bitcoin and you'll receive CBTC. Okay. And then <clears throat> let's just say you have, let's just say you hit a lick on uh, Cardano. Let's just say, I don't know, you make a good play on Cardano. You make more than 1% on whatever Cardano investment you have, you could take your CBTC, okay? And then <clears throat> let's just say you made another Bitcoin. You could flip that back into Bitcoin without ever having to sell your Cardano or Bitcoin. That's what's important about it. I highly recommend you guys, well, obviously, you know, this is just the test net. Don't use your real wallet. Use a test wallet. You're gonna play around with this stuff, but it's definitely good to see. And then finally, guys, we got Book.io here, sponsored by Mark Cuban, the billionaire. <laughs> the current publishing industry is archaic and restrictive. What a Cardano project is challenging these century-old business models. Having published 100,000 books on Cardano, this project empowers readers and users alike. Here's everything you need to know about book.io. Uh, we got the global book market is massive. As of 2023, global book trade revenue sales are estimated at 78 billion. The market is highly centralized, limiting opportunities for users and writers. Traditional book publishers rely on centuries-old business models. On the other hand, digital books can still utilize non-scalable centralized technology from 15 years ago. Blockchain technology can render these archaic and efficient systems obsolete, making way for change. When you buy an ebook or audiobook, you don't truly own it. That's what I've been saying, guys. You know, that's why I like book.io. That's why I like NFTs. You actually own a book. I have a decent library of books on Amazon Audible, but if one day Bezos decides to uh, shut down, then where do all my books go? <clears throat> and if I say the wrong thing on YouTube, <laughs> Audible might say, you know what? You don't deserve to have these books, so they can shut me down. But with NFTs, that's changing. You own the book. It's on the blockchain. Okay. And not only that, the author can receive royalties on their books as well. So book.io, definitely awesome. Let's keep chopping wood, guys. I love y'all. 
I will talk to y'all guys soon with the VChain and Cardano updates. Keep chopping. Bye. Thank you so much, VChain and Cardano Army, for your amazing Patreon support, guys. I'd like to give a shout out to Maryland for Crypto, Anthony Andrews, Farouz Din, Kyle Bachi, CryptoSVT.SI, Angeltopia, DNC Vale, Leon Jackson the Second, Kragen, All Flare LLC, Lucky Sunshine Token, and VET Docky. I hope you enjoyed the show, guys, and I'll be back with another video soon.